Guys, Joe Biden erased women on day number one of his administration. One of the biggest priorities he saw was to sign an executive order to eliminate the notion of gender discrimination in sports. Gender discrimination. So there are no more male and female sports. There'll probably be no more female athletes because the notion that men can just compete in all women's sports seems rather problematic to me. Now, this is one of those things I've rallied against. And if I put something out there on Twitter, people bring in the hate and they yell and they scream. This is the one thing that I've spoken about tirelessly that even the biggest haters on social media, even the Twitter folks that just literally wait for me to tweet something and before they could even read the tweet have some sort of negative comment, even those people are like, yeah, you know, I hate Don Jr. so badly, but I agree with him 100% on this issue. Where are the feminists? Where are the women talking about these things? Ever notice that the notion of banning gender in sports really only benefits one side? Have we ever seen a woman that became a man or identified as a man dominate male sports? Have we seen one example of that where they're even competent, where they're even competitive at a high level? But we see countless examples. You see lawsuits from some of these young women in high school and college track where they're suing because someone decided to be a woman and the next day they're the, they're the national champion or they're the state champion of their respective sport when they've been a male for their whole lives, but they're dominating women's sports within minutes. You ever notice that it only goes one way? Now, part of that executive order, I got to be clear, also said about uh, no discrimination for sexual preference. But I don't think anyone cares. I imagine that's like PC cover, because if you come out against the ban, then you're being anti-gay. But I don't think anyone cares if you're gay in sports, because it doesn't give you an advantage. There's no advantage if you're a gay man in male sports or if you're a lesbian woman in female sports. There's no advantage, so no one cares. So this is the PC cover. But if you've been a guy your whole life and you have a larger lung capacity, larger bone density, more muscle mass, height, weight advantages, that's a huge advantage. Where are all the women? Where are all the feminists that spent years pushing for Title IX? and other protections for women in sports. Because guess what, folks? Women's sports is over. If guys start saying, hey, you know what? I'm not really a great male athlete, but I can just jump into the game and get a full-ride scholarship, they're taking your daughter's state championship away. They're taking your daughter's scholarship away. And as the father of a young woman who happens to be an incredible athlete, I'm outraged. This was what the Biden administration wanted to make a priority on day one. On day one, this is an issue they thought they needed to fight. That tells you everything you need to know about how radical this agenda is. They're telling you that in sports, it doesn't matter. Good luck. Girls, have fun because there's a trans man who's not so good at sports right now that's going to be really competitive at a high level with women's sports right now. Your scholarship is gone. What you've worked for for your entire life is gone. Have fun. That's what they're telling you, and we should all be upset. Like I said, even the haters on social media usually agree with me on this one. I imagine you will too. So don't let that pass, guys. This is the sort of insanity that's going to be a big push in the Democrat Party, and we got to be vocal about it because it's not right.